Hello, and welcome to Pulsar Measurement Academy. My name is Sean Minton. Today, we're going to teach you how to install the SC16C large pipe sensors for the transit time flow meter. In our previous video, we showed you how to properly set up the transit time flow meter using the SE16B sensors. We set the meter up here using the same parameters except for the transducer type. In this new configuration, the meter calculated a sensor spacing of 6.9 inches. We'll show you how to install the SE16C sensors using this distance. To complete the installation, you'll need the following items all included in the kit two mounting brackets, one alignment bar with built-in ruler, two hose clamps, the SE16C transducers, and the coupling compound. Not included in the kit, but needed for installation includes the 5 16th nut driver and a standard Phillip head screwdriver. We'll start the installation with the mounting brackets and the alignment bar with built-in ruler. When looking at the mounting brackets, it's important to remember that the open side of the mounting bracket is facing out. From there, we'll install the alignment bar with built-in ruler. We'll align the bar to the nut and screw it in. Then we'll take the second bracket and go to our measured distance of 6.9 inches, and then tighten the second nut. Once hand tightened, you'll want to use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten it even more. Now we'll take the hose clamp, run it through the mounting bracket, and hand tighten. Repeat the process with the second mounting bracket. Now that the hose clamps are hand tightened, it's time to move the mounting brackets into position. Remember, we're looking to put it into approximately the 11 o'clock position. And remember, if your pipe is dirty, corroded, or has a non-binding paint on it, you may need to clean it or possibly sand a spot for both sensors. Now that the mounting brackets are in place, we'll complete the tightening of the hose clamps with a 5 16th nut driver. Now it's time to install the sensors. First, we'll make sure that the screws are fully extracted. Next, we'll take our sensor and apply coupling compound just a bead right down the middle. We'll install the transducer, making sure not to touch the bottom of the pipe until we have it in place, and also making sure that we push the transducer all the way to the front of the mounting bracket. Repeat the process for the second transducer. Remember to make sure that the transducer is fully pushed to the front of the mounting bracket. Now, tighten the screws on the mounting bracket. Repeat the process on the second transducer. The last step in our process is to connect the BNC connection. After tightening the connector, we'll then screw in the protective gland. Now repeat the process with the other transducer. Then tighten down the protective cover. And that completes our installation. Thanks for watching today's video on how to install the SE16C large pipe transducer. For more how-to videos, check out our website at www.pulsarmeasurement.com and don't forget to follow us on social media.